Hello and welcome, my name is Ivan Place and I already made a weapon modding tutorial using the official tools for Ravenfield. Watch that video if you want to mod guns or make or import your own models or change sounds. In this video I will show you how to work around issues with Blender missing or the weapons not showing up in Unity, I'll show you how to solve errors in Unity, I will show you how to modify weapon stats like damage and speed, and finally how to render a Ravenfield style gun icon for the inventory slot. First of all, make sure you have the latest version of the Ravenfields tool pack. There are currently no version numbers, but you can go to more actions and details on Google Drive and then you can see when it was last modified. So, first of all, extract your tools pack and maybe call it my gun and then get into Unity, ideally 5.6.3, but newer versions might also work. And then just open that project, my gun. This will take a while the first time around. So the very first thing to check is to take a look, do you see Rainfield tools? If not, make sure you extracted the zip file and you open the right project. If this one does not exist, this menu, then you have a problem. You might have to disable antivirus, you might have to run Unity as administrator. Maybe you have the wrong version, maybe you messed something up with the files when extracting them. You might have to get help on the modding channel for this. The next thing is to look for errors. Here we see Blender could not be found. But uh, to illustrate why this is a problem, let's go to Scenes, Weapons Lab, and try to zoom in here. And the problem here is the gun does not show up, even though there should be an AK-47. That is because Blender could not be found. To fix this, let's go to Models, Weapons, AK... Yeah, it's not recognized as a 3D model. So let's open uh, Show in Explorer, and here we have the Blend files, and they should open with Blender. For Unity to be able to work with Blend files, you have to associate Blend files with Blender. For this, you need to either download and install Blender, or download a portable version and still associate the files manually. I extracted Blender to this location, and I'm going to associate them manually. Uh, here, I'm going to assign them manually. Okay, great, that works. Fresh, double. No, no, set this as default. Hello. Okay, let's go to properties. Let's uh, change and set this as default. All right, now it works. Perfect. Now we right click in Unity and click reimport all. Now it restarts Unity. And that is good. And here we go. Here's the model. Also, no errors. However, if you do get other errors, make sure to read them carefully. Make sure to click on console down here and uh, clear, and maybe even enable warnings. And then just press play to try to generate all the errors again. For example, if we start deleting, I don't know, random scripts, that probably, yeah, that, that causes some errors. Weapon user does, does not exist in this in the current context. That's because we deleted a script file. Maybe uh, maybe you have the same problem. Then you probably know you accidentally deleted some file. But if you need to get help, get it on the modding channel on Discord of Ravenfield and uh, make sure to make a screenshot of this stuff, of this area. But you can also just try reading them carefully and maybe you can solve it yourself. Like for example, Blender was not installed. That was a previous error. So now let's take a look at how to modify weapon stats and things like damage. Again, make sure to go to Project, go to Scenes, open the Weapons Lab scene, and the first thing we want to do is click the AK. Or actually, even better than editing this model, is to right-click the AK and go to Select Prefab. All changes you make here will then be testable with the model in the scene. The most interesting part here is the configuration list, I guess. Click the little arrow here in the inspector, and you can, for example, change reload time. Let's make it a fraction of a second, 0.1. Does it already work? Shoot, reload. I see. So this actually does not affect the time of the animation plays, but how much you have to wait until you can shoot again. If we set it to 5, again, if we set it to 5, test, 
Okay. I'm clicking, I'm clicking, but I cannot shoot. I have to wait until the reload time is over. Okay, good. We learned something about this. Aim field of view. Let's see. Can we change this a lot? Yep. We, c <laughs> we have to restart the game, but we can change it to insane numbers. Let's get back to 34. Now what is interesting is this. Projectiles per shot. Let's set this to 100. Okay, we can hardly see it, but yeah, there's a there's a heap of bullets. Let's just set this back to one, and let's play with spread instead. Yeah, if you look closely, the bullets fly all over the place. And if we add more bullets, that ought to be interesting. <laughs> this is wonderful. Awesome. So, to enhance the amount of bullets we can shoot, let's change cooldown from 0 0.095 to 0 0.005. And let's test it. Oh boy. The sound stays the same, but uh, the kickback kicks in much faster. Oh boy. Yeah. So that's how we enhance the fire rate. So now what about damage? To change the damage we have to change the bullet, which is Rifle Tracer. You can just double click here, or click once and then it will be seen in Prefab's projectiles. And here we have again configuration, where we can change speed, impact force, and damage. Now damage and impact force can be very different things. Let's go for 8000 impact force and 1 damage. And because we cannot really test this here, let's go to Content, Example Weapon Content Mod. Let's make a copy of that. Call it Avon Plays Test. Test. And uh, in here we have this Weapon Entries. Let's set it to size uh, 1. And let's call it Soft AK. And the prefab is the same. Yep, we changed that prefab. If we had uh, like made changes to the model, we would have to drag it in there and then select that prefab. Slot primary, usable by AI, no thank you. Type normal, slot priority, sure. Soft AK. So now we just press Ravenfield Tools, Content, Build, Selected Content Mod, while this is selected. There we go. Now let us take a look at Ravenfield. Where is it? Soft AK. Select and deploy. I'm sorry to have to do this, but... Yep, see that? That's what it does. It just kicks them away like crazy. Whoa. And the fire rate is still crazy. Yep. So we run through 30 mags, like, immediately. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, crap. Anyways, you saw the result. So we can go back to the AK, go back to Rifle Tracer, and we can change other things, like, for example... What's the 3D model being used here? The mesh. We can edit that in in Blender, even though it's a bad idea. And uh, we can test it immediately. That looks cool. We can slow it down so we can actually see it. Yeah. Nice. And we can change the shader as well. Maybe some red instead. Alright, and these are the things you can change. So next up we're just gonna look at how to make that icon for your gun, which is defined in your weapon prefab's uh, UI sprite, which is basically an image file you just drag in and then you set it to sprite texture type. If it's default you cannot use it, it has to be sprite. And you could also just like edit it. So let's take a look at that now. If Stu Raven still hasn't published uh, his method of rendering these uh, sprites for the inventory of guns. I have a solution. Basically, you just select uh, the arms in Blender, you delete them, you delete, uh, you get to an animation position that is uh, nice and static, so frame one, for example. And then you just, I mean, once you did your modifications, whatever they might be, 
Then you just need to get your camera on this side of it, which you do by pressing numpad 1, numpad 3, numpad 7, numpad 9 to reverse your perspective so, you to, so that you have a correct uh, sideways view. If you don't have numpad keys, then you need to go to user preferences, get this open, go to input and make sure that emulate numpad is enabled. And you might want to save user settings. And then you can go back to info and get this out of the way. Forgot to tell you this earlier. Then you just need to get your camera on this side of it, which you do by making the camera visible and selecting it. You can just do it here. And then get in position and hit Control Alt Numpad 0. And then you can press Numpad 0 to get into the camera perspective. So now, I would just switch to Cycles Render, make the world have a black background, and in the Render tab, enable Freestyle. Let's give it a spin. Okay, so this doesn't work, because both the line and the background are black. If we switch the background to something bright, so once we enabled Freestyle, we have to re-render each time we want to check it out. And this is maybe a bit much. So, so maybe you reduce line thickness in the render tab to one. Nah, three ought to be better. There we go. So to make it actually have the right colors, let's go to the uh, render layers tab and scroll down, pick color. Where is that color? Yeah, freestyle line style. Color, set it to white, set the background to black. All right. Now also to disable perspective, let's go and let's go ahead and right click the camera. All right, we got that. Let's go to the camera tab. Let's go to the data tab, which will be camera. And we got to change it to orthographic. And then orthographic scale should be one. You can also move it around. Basically no more perspective. And that's it. But actually we can also fill out the inner of the, of the gun in case you want to have that Ravenfield effect. Uh, so what we do is we, we have to modify all materials. Which apparently there aren't any. So let's just select all parts of a gun, okay, and uh, create a new material, or we can just use one of the available ones. Huh, I guess we have to do it individually. Hammer. Yeah, let's give each of these some kind of material. Now we, all we have to do is edit this material. Let's see, surface, use nodes, and let's make it emission. And if we render now, it's a bit too bright, so let's make this some kind of dark gray. There we go. Perfect. If you want, you can add some blur. I don't know how to do the exact thing that Ravenfield does, but we will get the scene for that eventually. Anyways, I hope this helps. Players definitely appreciate it if they can identify your gun from the others. Not just by name, but also by the uh, icon. You can just save it with F3 now. I also recommend you put the render directly on your Steam Workshop page so players are more accustomed to your gun and know they can have an individual icon in the weapon selection. Because when you're actually in-game trying to pick your gun, there is this RK44 mods, cosmetic, AK... It just looks the same. From love. It may just look like one of the default guns usually. So make your gun unique, but not by doing this kind of thing, but by actually rendering a Rainfield style icon, and not just some wireframe or 3D render. Even though all of this is definitely better than using one of these standard icons that have nothing to do with your gun. So thank you very much for watching, I hope this helps. Feel free to ask questions in the comments, and I hope to see your gun on Steam Workshop soon. See you in the next video, until then, ciao!